good day how to solve this problem x raised to power x then raised to power 7 equals to 7 now we should note that this 7 can also be written as 7 raised to power 1 and uh, this one here we can express it as equals to 7 times 1 over 7 so 1 is same thing as 7 times 1 over 7 that is 7 we count 7 and we still have 1 so instead of writing power of 1, let's write 7 times 1 over 7 and we have x raised to power x and raised to power 7 we now be equal to 7 raised to power 7 times 1 over 7 and uh, from law of indices we can bring you know we can separate the power that this one we have a raised to power m and we can write it as a raised to power m then times n or we can also write it as a raised to power n then times m so from there let's take 1 over 7 inside then take 7 outside so we have from here this will become x raised to power x then raised to power 7 we then give us 7 raised to power 1 over 7 then raised to power 7 and this 7 as well can be written as 7 raised to power 1. So let's repeat that process. So instead of writing 7 raised to power 1, we can also change this 1 to 7 times 1 over 7. And these steps will now become x raised to power x raised to power 7 equals to 7 raised to power 1 over 7. Then all raised to power 7. Then instead of raised to power 1 now, we can raise to power 7 times 1 over 7. Also, we can separate in you know, 1 over 7 side, take 7 aside. And there we have x raised to power x raised to power 7. We now be equal to 7 raised to power 1 over 7. Then all raised to power 7. Also, raised to power 1 over 7. Then raised to power 7. So we brought 7 aside, take 1 over 7 inside. Then when we look at what we have critically, something like x raised to power x, then raised to power 7. So now 7 raised to power 1 over 7, same thing here. We have 7 raised to power 1 over 7, then raised to power 7. So when we compare it, we can conclude that from here, x will be equal to 7 raised to power 1 over 7. So here we have the value of x. Then to check, we can check from what we are given. So to check now, we are given x raised to power x raised to power 7 equals to 7. Now let's check whether this is true. Our x is 7 raised to power 1 over 7. So we have 7 raised to power. We have 7 raised to power 1 over 7 as x. That's 7 raised to power 1 over 7, that's x, then raised to power x, which is 7 raised to power 1 over 7, then raised to power 7, with this one give us 7, so let's check now, this 7 we open this bracket, and we are going to have 7 over 7, which is 1, so that's 7 raised to power 1, so instead of writing raised to power 1 over 7 raised to power 7, we can simply write it as 7 raised to power 1, and uh, also, Everything here is raised to power 7 now, and uh, when this 7 multiply this as well, we discover that we are going to have 7 raised to power 1 here as well, because this 7 will multiply this 1 over 7, and we are going to have 7 over 7, which is 1. So that's 7 raised to power 1, which is equal to 7. So 7 is equal to 7, and therefore, the result, x, is, x equals to 7 raised to power 1 over 7 is correct. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget. You can also subscribe to this channel in order not to mix out from any of our videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class and bye for now.